Hey everybody, this is Grant from OutsmartingFish.com. I've got a uh, check nymph on the menu today. But uh, anyway, I'm going to get right to it. So I'm going to start wrapping my adhesive-backed lead foil right there. And this hook is a Scud pupa hook. It's a size 10. You can use any Scud pupa hook that you'd like. And uh, if we're going to stay according to rule here. So with check nymphs, they... Uh, they're real particular about how how they tie their flies and you see a lot of the even some of the commercially tied flies are they're just they've just got too many materials on them and uh, according to rule here the checks really like to have slender looking flies so they'll add the weight with this lead foil that I'm adding here right now okay so I've I put one layer down then I went up about two wraps and started my second layer and then I'll stop it just one wrap short of the front of the fly and you can see right there it's pretty heavily weighted and uh, it's gonna be perfect it's gonna it's gonna be streamlined right behind the lead there then I'll just make sure that I've got a good little base here because we're gonna be wrapping some materials around that and you don't want those materials to slide on this lead. And what I've got here for the show back is just scud back in uh, size 1 8 in tan. Okay. And you'll notice that I'm tying it on here in the rear of the hook because I'm trying to get that taper here in the back half of the hook to uh, make it look like the natural. Okay, so I go back, tie that in, then I'm ready next for my rib. Rib here is just 5x mono. I'll tie that in. And uh, you can see here that I've got a little bit of uh, a grabber here on the end. I've, I've just bit that in my mouth on the end of the mono, so it grabs right there. For the dubbing, you can use natural any natural dubbing mixed with a synthetic or you know ice dub and squirrel or ice dub and rabbit whatever you want to use here once you've dubbed that on there super tight I'm gonna bring my mono in front of my dubbing just like that okay so I'll start wrapping my dubbing first And then we're going to, then I can put that mono back in my bobbin holder and wrap the body of my check nymph. I'm ready for my thorax, which is just two pieces of ostrich hurl. Ostrich hurl. I'll cut off the tips. And then uh, strip the bottom maybe eighth of an inch. And go ahead and tie those in. I'm gonna just scoot scoot this hook back a little bit here. That way my ostrich doesn't slide off and then I'll begin wrapping. Now this is just to form the the legs. When you look at the uh, the, the naturals of the caddis larva, you'll you'll notice the The legs are, are proficient. That allows them to crawl around on the bottom of the river, rocks, etc. So give that a couple wraps there. Tie it in. Fold it back. A couple wraps. 
just to secure it and then pull forward and rip off okay show you a nice little trick here when dealing with this you can just heat up your lighter with your bodkin there don't burn the house down Right, nice and hot there. You just burn the top of the legs there. So you can see here it becomes pretty flat right there. That's so when I pull pull the uh, the wing case over, none of those fibers protrude out to the side. They're all going to stick down. Okay. Next up, I'm just going to grab some clear cure goo. To reinforce those ostrich quills, place it on top here, treat it. Next step, pull the scud back over and tie it down. Give it three or four good tight wraps. Right. Stretch it out. Trim. Okay, then you've got a clean head right there. Next step, throw a half hitch or whip finish in there. Just throw a whip finish real quick. Okay, then I'll begin my rib. And make sure that that thorax is sitting just where you want it. Okay, start with one wrap, two wraps, and then when I get up to my legs, I'll just wiggle my mono and hold it down with my thumb right through the other wrap, right through the ostrich hurl. That'll help to reinforce the ostrich hurl as well from the teeth of the fish. Okay. All right. After that, ready to tie the mono off. Tie off clip. Go ahead and whip finish. All right. Then I uh, trim and whip. There looks pretty good so far, right? Okay. Right. Right now, uh, these next few steps is where this fly will really, really come to life. Okay, so the next step, I'm gonna use a black Sharpie. I'm gonna color back, you'll notice on the thorax cover, uh, a lot of these check nymphs will have that distinct black look, just like that. The next step will be to use some UV resin here, whatever's available to you. Dab a little bit on there, and then make sure that it's all it's spread out evenly. Okay, looks nice and uniform there, nice and pretty. Next step will be to grab your your light. I'm good to go there. All right, that's treated. Here you could definitely go out and fish this fly as it is right now, but uh, for a little added touch as well, we'll put some clear coat on there just to make it a little bit more a little shinier and it'll remove a little bit of that tack that's left over on there when you when you cure the the resin okay and then uh, as soon as that dries you're you're ready to go this fly has uh, picked up quite a few fish for me here in Utah for us, for all of the guys here at OutsmartingFish.com, I've done really well on really well on it. I uh, hope you find uh, the same success as well. And that's the Paycheck Nymph.